think the work presented today from Dr. Budd regarding the Southwest Oncology Group adjuvant breast trial, um, it, it really compared two standard approaches to the delivery of paclitaxel, a drug that we know improves survival for women with early breast cancer. Uh, in my own practice, I have been using the so-called dose-dense uh, every two-week schedule of, of paclitaxel which uh, does require the uh, injection of a growth factor to stimulate white blood cell recovery um, called peg filgrastim or nulasta. Um, that growth factor has a certain cost associated with it. It also has a certain amount of toxicity in, in terms of bone pain. So what Dr. Budd showed today is that lower weekly doses of, of the same drug, of paclitaxel, that uh, don't require generally this type of growth factor support um, was just as effective. Uh, it also showed that um, there was less, uh, not only bone pain, there, was, uh, there were fewer allergic reactions and less neuropathy or, or uh, nerve injury, um, which for some patients can be a significant uh, issue. So for me, this is, this is really going to change my practice. I think um, the weekly lower schedule for me is going to be, um, become the, the rule rather than the exception. Um, I admit some bias in this direction because I actually served as a uh, principal investigator for an intergroup trial uh, reported um, about 10 years ago where we found weekly dosing was more effective than less frequent every three-week dosing in uh, advanced stages of breast cancer. So it looks like weekly paclitaxel is here to stay both for uh, advanced disease as well as for early breast cancer.